السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته dear pupils welcome again I'm your teacher Hafiz Tufik and here we are again so today's lesson is very important I hope you are doing your best at school and also you have to follow and watch these videos in order to take more experience in your bigger exam so before we start our video uh, we have some stuff to do together alright first uh, we are going to deal with this then this and this and of course together we are going to do the task very good so I want you to pay attention very well okay and try to do the task with me it's very important now let's go To compare objects, animals, or people that are similar or equal in some way, I use the comparative of equality as plus adjective, short or long plus as. And when I say short or long here, it refers to the adjective. Okay? Uh, a short adjective like smart, fast, long adjectives like uh, important, expensive, and so on. All right, to explain furthermore, let's see the examples. Pisa is as big as Malaga. The size of the town of Pisa is the same, just like the size of the town of Malaga. Nadia is as excited as Karim. So here, Nadia's excitement is the same, just like Karim's excitement. First, let's explain the first example. Pisa is as big as Malaga. Now, I want you to pay attention to these details. For example, Pisa here is a singular now. So, to be here must be is. But, if a noun was in plural, then to be must be are. Very good. And, of course, if I used I, then I have to say am. I am. Now, let's carry on. Pisa is as big as Malaga. So, here, the adjective, big, between as, as. And, of course, we have the two nouns that we are making comparison between them. Now, when I say Pisa is as big as Malaga, I mean that both of them are big. Pisa is not bigger than Malaga, or Malaga is not bigger than Pisa. Both of them are big. Let's move to example number two. Nadia is as excited as Karim. Alright, excited. Now, this is the adjective. Also, Nadia is a singular noun, so I put is here, not are. Don't be confused and make mistakes, all right? <clears throat> so, Nadia is as excited as Karim. Nadia's excitement equals or it is equal to Karim's excitement. Okay? So, both of them are excited. Both of Nadia and Karim are excited. Let's carry on. I use the comparative of, of inferiority, not as plus adjective, short or long, plus as, to compare objects animals or people that are not similar or not equal very good now let's see the example to understand more is top copy palace is as big as alhamra palace no it is not as big as the alhamra palace very good now the size of alhamra palace is not the same just like the size of top copy palace let me explain. The question is, is Topkapi Palace as big as Alhamra Palace? And here comes the answer. No, it's not as big as the Alhamra Palace. We understand that Alhamra Palace is bigger than Topkapi Palace. They are not the same. Okay, so Alhamra Palace is bigger than Topkapi. Now, we made a comparison here between the two and we found out that they are not similar 
they are not equal. Alhamra Palace is bigger than Turf Kapi. It is called the comparative of inferiority, and that is shown here. As it is shown here, it's like a rule, not as plus adjective. The adjective, whether it is short or long, plus as. That's how we make the comparative of inferiority. Very good. Let's move now. In here, we have two tables to explain more. I provided some pictures. We have pictures of landmarks here that we are going to use for our examples. Now, the first landmark is Pisa Tower, which is located in Italy. The second one is Big Ben, which is located in England, London. <coughs> All right. So, we are going to make a comparison between Pisa Tower and Big Ben. We are going to compare them. All right. And we use the adjective famous. Okay. Now, the sentence is Pisa Tower is as famous as Big Ben. So, we notice that both of the two landmarks are famous. So, we used comparative or comparative of equality to show that both of them are famous. Look, look to the structure of the sentence. We have the first noun or the first landmark which is Pisa and the second noun, Big Ben. And between them, there lies the adjective. And the adjective is between as and as. As I said before, pay attention to the noun, whether it is singular or plural. If it is singular, you just put is. If it is plural, you put are. Right? Pisa Tower is as famous as Big Ben. So, the comparative of quality. Now, we say that, or we mean, both of them are famous. Okay? Let's move to... Table number two. Also, we have two landmarks. Both of them are famous. We have the Statue of Liberty in New York, the United States of America. And we have Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. Now, we are going to make comparison between them. The Statue of Liberty is not as big as the Eiffel Tower. Now, this is comparative of inferiority. By saying... La the Statue of Liberty is not as big as the Eiffel Tower. I mean that the Eiffel Tower is bigger than the Statue of Liberty. Okay? So they are not similar. They are not the same. One of them is bigger than the other. This is comparative of equality. Oh, sorry. Comparative of of inferiority the first table shows comparative of equality the second table shows the comparative of inferiority now let's move to task number one now let's go to the task so we start with task number one page 36 you can check your books at home I pay attention to the information between brackets and fill in each blank with as or not as. First, I give the sentence, okay, without an answer. Then I give you the answer. But first, you have to guess the answer. Since you are watching these videos at home, you can pause the video and try to do the task. Excellent. So, we start with sentence number one. Eiffel Tower in Paris, 300 meter is tall as Burj Khalifa in Dubai, 828 meter. To give the correct answer and to fill in the gap with the appropriate word, you have to understand the context of the sentence. First, Eiffel Tower in Paris is 300 meter, Burj Khalifa in Dubai or in Dubai is 828 meter which one is taller hmm? so they are not the same here we can notice that Burj Khalifa in Dubai is taller than 
Eiffel Tower in Paris? So, the correct answer is Eiffel Tower in Paris, 300 meter, is tall, or sorry, is not as tall as Burj Khalifa in Dubai, 828 meter. We do the same with the next sentence. The preserved part of the Great Wall of China, 8,851 kilometer, is almost long as the distance between London and Beijing by plane, 8,151 kilometer. Beijing is the capital city of China. Now, what do you think? Is it as or not as? As I said before, try to understand the sentence. And the word almost here is the key word. Okay? When you look here, 8,851 kilometer and here, 8,151 kilometer. Almost the same. Okay? So, let's see and check the answer. The preserved part of the Great Wall of China, 8,851 kilometer, is almost as long as the distance between London and Beijing by plane, 8,151 kilometer. So, they are similar. The distance is similar. We shall move to sentence number three. I hope you are following. Windsor Castle in Windsor, 50,000 square. And we have the gap large as Buckingham Pass in London, 77,000 square Windsor is small sorry Windsor is a small town 37 kilometer west of London where the Queen's royal residence of Windsor Castle is situated so make your decision before I reveal the answer okay let's see Windsor Castle in Windsor, 50,000 square, is not, uh, as you see here, uh, the word is, is missing, it's a mistyping, Windsor Castle in Windsor, 50,000 square, is not as large, as Buckingham Palace in London, 77,000 square. Windsor is a small town 37 kilometer west of London, where the Queen's royal residence of Windsor Castle is situated. All right then, so let's move to task number two. Uh, task two, page 36. As you see the question on the screen right now, I compare and join each pair A and B using as, as, or not as, as. So let's see the first sentence. Sentence number one The Italian painter, sculptor, architect, and poet Michelangelo is famous. Let's see the second sentence. The Italian painter, scientist, and engineer Leonardo da Vinci is famous too. So we are going to join the two sentences together using as, as, or not as, as. Let's see the answer now. Michelangelo is as famous as Leonardo da Vinci. Very good. Now also, there is another way to answer the following sentence. Another ch choice, of course. Leonardo da Vinci is as famous as Michelangelo. So, both of the two sentences are correct. Now, since we compared 
Michael Angelo and Leonardo da Vinci together and we found out that both of them are famous. Let's do the same with the next sentence and of course since you are watching this video you can pause the video from time to time and try to do the task and you can check the answer later on. Number two, the Algerian painter Omar Rasim is talented, okay, talented or gifted. Both of them are correct, two adjectives. Let's see sentence B. The Algerian painter Muhammad Isa Aham is talented too. So let's join the two sentences, of course, using as as or not as as. It's up to the correct sentence that you are going to make. Omar Rasim is as talented as Muhammad Isha Khan. Also, we have another choice. You can say Muhammad Ishaqam is as talented as Omar Rasim. You can see that both of the two sentences are correct. Let's go to sentence number three. When he died, the Algerian writer, sorry, the Algerian writer Mulut Farun was not very old. That means he was young. Let's see sentence B. When he died, the Algerian writer Muhammad Mamri was older than Murud Pharaoh. Oh, sorry, let's say again, let's say again. I just made a mistake, sorry. When he died, the Algerian writer Murud Mamri was older than Murud Pharaoh. Now let's join the two sentences together. Murud Pharaoh is not as old as Mulud memory all right or oh, memory you can say or you can mention the name the saying memory or memory both of them are correct since it's uh, proper now also we have another choice Mulud memory is not as old as Mulud Farun so in this task you have seen that you have multiple choices to make comparison of course comparative of equality or comparative of inferiority uh, this was our last task i hope you learned something or some new information with us this is teacher halfa etofit greeting you wishing you all success till then I have to say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Shukran ala al mushahada. La tinsaw al ishraf al qanat, al dhakta ala al jaras, al ijab bil video.